with the Russia Ukraine war by this time everybody must have heard about the term NATO because ultimately everything was revolving around this thing called NATO and in this concept recently a group of countries to be very precisely a group of countries including United States of America Japan Australia and India a collective of countries were dubbed as the Asian NATO why do you call these countries as Asian NATO and what is the reason behind that and basically what is the reason which connects all these countries in this context I think probably one thing that we can always say is Indo-Pacific region yes I'm talking about the Quad what do you mean by a Quad the quadrilateral security dialogue between these countries so in this context why is Indo-Pacific very important these are very important things that we have to understand in this learn strokes explain wala with Arjuna Shankar I'll try to explain what do you mean by the concept of Asian NATO is this really an Asian NATO and what do you mean by the Indo-Pacific why is this region so strategic let's find it out in explain wala so we already have an important idea about the important countries in line and definitely when I said the Indo-Pacific region is very strategic these countries are actually connected by this geography and definitely all the countries are really big countries including India so why do you have an association between these countries and in this regard what do you mean by the concept of Indo-Pacific to give you an idea about Indo-Pacific so basically the concept of Indo-Pacific as a term was used by the US administration differently according to the different presidential regimes it was not the same under the Trump's administration it was not the same under the Obama administration and not same in the Biden administration so everything the word Indo-Pacific how they see it is absolutely different in different periods but one thing has always been very important and that is the word Indo-Pacific definitely has the word Indo which definitely means India has a very important role to play in that geographical region or the Indo-Pacific region so uh, why do you need so many countries like Australia India United States and Japan to come together so that is why they say this Indo-Pacific stretch is one of the most strategic sea lane the sea as such or the geography as such we are talking it is very very strategic you know why it is very strategic it can be strategic in terms of the trade that is happening it can also be strategic in the amount of export import or the volume of trade happening and apart from that the people they say that they, you need to have a free open and a prosperous Indo-Pacific and then you might really ask what do you mean by Indo-Pacific so Indo-Pacific is actually a region which which is which is which has got the tropical waters of Indian Ocean and the Western and Central Pacific Ocean lines so this is the region you can simply see this region in this picture and uh, what is the history of this and I said a lot of countries are actually coming forward there should be a history for this and I would say Japan took an important initiative in this regard previously in 2007 when the Japanese Prime Minister took a lot of initiative there was something called as an Asian Democratic Security Diamond uh, that sounds a uh, pretty Asian security Asian Democratic security diamond and all the countries that we discuss are well connected and even before that the history goes back to the tsunami time 2004 when the whole of the region was run amok by a tsunami India took a very lead role in including solving the problems of neighborhood as well as the geographical region but after 2007 these countries came together so Australia India Japan and United States of America came together but after some time you know Australia simply went out of the league but later after a few years Australia again joined back but the real question now arises I told you what is the history of this Indo-Pacific and why Indo-Pacific is very important and strategic apart from that why is this association even existing that is a big question that we need to understand here comes the most important reason perhaps the dominant China China is very very dominant here and you know whenever there is a country which is actually going up really high you know America is indeed a big superpower 
and one of the other countries that is rising to that level is probably china whether you take it in terms of the trade arms volume of anything china is definitely a superpower and you should also see that china as a nation country which is belonging to this region is trying to control the ocean waters of this countries together so that is the reason why china being a very dominant country is trying to control this ocean power which can be a threat to japan which obviously is a threat to japan which is a threat to which is a threat to india australia and even united states of america so that was the reason why they created this concept of having a association to basically have a free open prosperous and indo pacific and also to have a strategic sea route without any military and political influences and uh, at most beyond all that you need to have a freedom of navigation in this place so in one sense you can say that the whole association is actually a collective to garner or keep in control the dominant china in picture so uh, i think now you have a clear cut idea why quad is important and what forms which are the countries that you can see in this indo pacific region we can have a small discussion on that you can just see which of the following are one of some of the uh, countries that are part of the indo pacific so these are the countries some of the countries which are part of this indo pacific region so it's very important to know which are the countries involved in this so now you know why there is a quad which are the countries that formulates or combines the quad system what are the challenges that they have they have a big challenge called a rising dominant china and why this is a strategic region indo pacific as i said for every uh, governments in us that has been a very strategic important and it is even said that they had almost 1.9 trillion of trade export import happening in this region that is huge so that is the reason why everybody is so importantly talking about the quad region and india is also a great part of this so i hope you understood the concept of quad the indo pacific as well as why a dominant china is been countered by a collective organization including united states india japan and australia